What up? It's your boy T Bear Reaction. Today is Omega um, Wrestling Wednesday. So one thing I wanted to do was um share my thoughts on some recent wrestling events and like current state of wrestling right now. One in particular, the what happened this past weekend with past week now past week with um with involving Judgment Day right here. So Fortunately, the one if I did not want that to happen had happened. Finn Balor joined Judgment Day. Did not want to happen. Did not want him to scrap the club thing. But I had somewhat a feeling because one at the match, uh, AJ got pretty banged up as well too at the um, Hell in Cell match and everything. And Vince took the ball fall. So and Vince took the fall. So yeah, they could probably make it look like he's been taking L's. And so this turn for him is something to rejuvenate him whatever that happened when, when the first happened i thought it was gonna be a ruse for a minute to to for, for him to infiltrate and all of that but then we had this happen right here they didn't end up turning on edge so i'm looking at this now one th explanation i've been hearing that it edge probably injured what i think it is as well as they try to make edge in the next baby face because of Cody being out for a while due to the torn pectoral and all that. Here's my thing with first. Here's my first and my thing with that thing. You have Finn and you have AJ as well as Bobby Lashley as the top faces right now. Why would you do this double turn to do that? I get you probably wanted to do whatever it takes to make the, the, make the refresh Finn, but even if I, was a, if I was a fan of Hills, I'd be still pissed because you kind of like. Put, you probably did a pre, you did a premature change to a, a hot team that's a hot hill team that's got that's just getting started in the way. Well, I mean, it's already happened today. We'll see what happened in the consecutive days. But right now, they're looking like they're in a line to be on the same situation as the hurt business and retribution, which is a pattern I've seen. And I feel like. Is to me, I got even looking down because I said it on a Facebook group because I wrote it down because I thought in case I didn't have a chance to say it on here. Um, to me, it's like they're desperately trying to force hill heat to the point that they're um causing teens of that to teens to dissolve in the ways well, too, or we're getting stale, boring, same old scenario over and over, over just for the heat, heat. And I'm talking about the bloodline right there. Like, you see, we get the same old Roman helps Uso, Uso helps Roman, like, just to give him heat, just to give him heat and everything. Like, because, because, what well, the reason I say this, because every time, um, because, because, see, like, because here, all right, let's, let's, let's go like this. Because, folks, you know, Hills and the Hills are supposed to be boo, dislike, rooted against, etc. They're supposed to be the bad guys, but that's not the case. Cause I'm no either. If I say fans, or fans are um, and I say on here fans are you liking bad guys more than good guys on some edge lord shit, which has been like a like that a lot. I seen before there are folks that were actually a uh, uh, who a fan of Thanos who say they relate. You ever like Russell? If uh, what uh villain you you relate to understand? And they say Thanos, which scares me a little bit. Why would you relate to even want to idolize a man that wiped half of humanity out of the way and everything? Because a lot of that. Another thing is, I say is that creative, booking, writers, whoever's in charge with alignment, character situations, especially with alignment, they're putting too much effort on hills more than faces. Or, and either way, it could, or it could be both situations. reason why I slave that, because if you know this, the hills, the hills are well written. They're they're giving and, and I feel like like that in outside as well too because they make because even the superheroes become a more dimensional. That's why uh, sadly we got folks uh, going towards the bad guys more than good guys these days because Raiders I don't know is Raiders not caring anymore. They don't care about good guys anymore. I see like I said before they don't care about good guys or or wrestling with wrestling that faces because you know faces get run gets written to either. Uh, be written to the point that folks think they are stale. They are some of you think they're idiots. Uh, I hate, I hate, kind of hate that slander to face or anything. Or as well as that their build up for a championship is better than the championship reign, which shouldn't should be like that. Their championship reign should be awesome as well, just as good as the build up. I mean, 
I mean, stop, shouldn't be only Hill should be the only ones that have a good a good championship reign. Face it too. And also, I feel like social media is a factor too, because you know you had the visually visibly fans booing the hills. You still got fans on Necro who was praising the hell out of hills. Whether they're praising, were they praising the hill or wanting a hill turn from a current face so bad? Like I've been seeing, I've been seeing a lot of folks been harping for Bianca Belair to turn hill, but why would you do that? Why would you ruin something going on, ruin something like that when she is like right now the biggest role model to black little black girls, black teens, the black women in general? She's like a good role model. Why would you kill that? Another thing is same same with Street Profits. Everybody wanting Tez to to turn hill and all that. I'd rather him break out a soul as a face than a hill, to be honest. To me. But it's like those because one is the cle that, that that same way is always cliche. And like, yeah, I get it. If we don't if we don't, if it if it ain't broken, don't fix it. But it's cliche as hell at this point. Now nah, I mean, same old, same old. Like to me, it's kind of like saying in real. If it's, it relates to something like that to real life, in order to be liked more, you gotta be do. You gotta become somebody that's. You gotta be disliked to be liked more, which is kind of weird in my opinion, kind of backwards and contradicting my in my opinion. Anything, and then the whole thing by. Folks doing their job or anything, but some don't seem like it when fans praise them and more than despise them, in my opinion. So, like I said, I don't know what's next with Resident Day, but like I said, the reason why I said uh, other faction that I see a pair of other faction is with her business and retribution. I'm gonna get the retribution out of the way quickly, out of the way. Retribution, I'm gonna be honest, should not been a hill faction. L at least, I understand their tactics in the beginning was hill, but once they explain their reason, they should at least be tweener at best. Yeah, or in somewhat face because they're they're pretty much was guys who got done dirty and we that we had our bet we was we was we was pressing our and people and fans and, and they were expressing their feelings about why they was that they did these these they, these people were treated wrong and everything in a way when it comes to the main roster so, or, or treated wrong before getting to the main roster like Mia and and T-Bar but Mace was deal man in we got by slam by Brock Lesnar and then uh, T Bar as well as other one, um, Shane Thorne, whatever the name is, or, or anything. Uh, and then Mustafa reason would be that he uh misses opportunity to uh, money bank and everything, the money bank or elimination chamber or something like yeah, middle this chamber and then the money back situation. But what they did dirty, it did wrong to he'll have he'll he they have him go against the wrong person, have him go against Kofi Kingston. It wasn't Kofi Kingston's fault that he didn't have a spot. At the time, it was, it was Hill Randy Orton's fault for one for for to get him out of the of the the um King of the, the um Elimination Chamber. Kofi just happened to took the spot. Post was given the spot. They were won the spot for it. That's all. He's an instant by center. And then number two, Hill brought Lesnar costed your chance to win the Money in Bank, but. They made it seem, made it seem like he got to go into their face and stuff with the heels that got him. Now, I mean, now if I, I can see it, it was like, run, if the time Randy Orton or Brock was was faces and they went and they had him turn him to go against them, which I'm going to tell you my opinion, I kind of do not like that kind of terms as well too, too, in my opinion, because it's like contradict, it's very conflicting as hell, dude, you know what I mean? And I, I, I said that a, little, a lot about a lot of, uh, Pipe bomb, a lot of promos, returns, and all that. One in particular, I would say, is the the whole Lita, Kane, and Edge debacle. That thing, most conflicting thing ever. Another thing I would say is J uh, Stephanie McMahon reason why she married Triple H and everything. Cause this man as a heel did her dirty with the whole Marion Untaker and all that shit too. Used to her for his little. Uh, it's me, it's me, Austin. Uh, what was it? The uh, the the dark. What was, what was, what was called the. Uh, the order, whatever that was behind the whole thing, just to go out to Austin, and it's like conflicting as hell because we supposed to be booing his, booing his, uh Stephanie, but her dad did kind of do it dirty, so it's like very conflicting and anything. So that's why that that now her business another thing. If Rich was going to turn retribution between her or her face, you should have at least did it with her business after their feud leading up, because even leading up to it in a way. That the her business made wasn't even hillish to begin with, but he did. Every people saving Bobby from a a shitty storyline, in my opinion, should have been should have been hillish. But Dudley 
Vince McMahon, I've been saying, since like Vince McMahon was in charge, is in, is in love and obsessed with Hill Heat. So, there's, so to make them Hill, like the only thing that was kind of Hill they did, only thing that was Hill they did was have Shane, uh, Cedric, uh, Cedric Alexander turn on his friends for, for, to do it and the bullying to get people to join them and all of that as well too. But other than that, um, mm-hmm. They, that, that's why I feel like they was forcing them to be hills. Like they could have been tweeners, and they had to be all that. Forced, and then the bullying backstage was ridiculous. They, they didn't. They didn't add more heat about bullying folks backstage, including folks of their opposite race. I know I should be black, I should be behind them, but I didn't like that. That that was a bad route. And trust me, I know that was a head. That was a headache dealing with because I was saying I, I was spread my dislike about it, and folks was looking at me like I said something bad about it because they're black and all that and then most of the wrestling groups in it are like black oriented so they'll make so it then they was off with it did her business regardless because it says they was black but I couldn't do it because hails but that was that I'm not gonna relive that little headache of stress of a era with her business but yeah but going forward her business you had then you had teasing uh of uh, some of a tweener face Bobby Lashley going for the championship against a Miz who trying to screw him out of his deal, and then you try to force then come to force the Hill Heat even more by having them break up, to kick out Cedric and Shelton. It's like it's like you forcing the water force Hill keys because you're forcing Hill Heat because you're not doing your job to make Russ make fans dislike the hills and everything. You're making them like the hills more than dislike the hills, and like and vice versa, you're making fans dislike the face more than like the face. It's like the writing and the uh, it, at this point, the writing needs to be fixed. Or I've been saying for the longest for a while, a good while, just straight drop the alignment system in wrestling. It because it, it's at this point very flawed. Nothing. It's very flawed as hell, though. We can even go back to like in the day when NWO, you know, back then the WO was like a, a hill station, but they start, they start getting children or anything. So, what they do, they did everything in their heart to make him give him a hill heat, which kind of like end up being the dial for for it. One of them, the biggest one is the finger poke with, over doom and everything, just to give him a hill heat. But that this that bite bit them in the ass though and this is why i give props to groups i said that in my opinion in my whole opinion this is why the x did better in wo in my opinion because duddy at the time when he was had some sense did the right thing and made them tweeners and faces because they knew they see it's popular then they didn't add them to actually heal heat to get to get to get them heat against them they did they kept being awesome being this being who they were and all that and the crowd was liking it and this is why I always say like the second run of DX when it was like the McMahon Hensley era time didn't in my opinion didn't do as good as the first run as well as the third run with Shawn, with Shawn Michael and Triple H because they was doing too much for Hill Heat including the, the McMahon Hensley thing with Stephanie and all of that you know it, it was something to help Stephanie get a character but it was like what the hell it was what the hell hell as well too Oh, there's folks that like this kind of dislike that that whole scenario and all that too. Um, part part they feel like this, that's that's what gave Triple Ace his his go to his his uh kiss kiss ass to be as big as he is in wrestling and all that too. Cause like, like I said, even back then DX, I feel like they really wasn't that much of a heel. The only time he came heel was the beginning when he became DX and there's a few with Austin with Mike Tyson included as well too. That's why I feel right. I feel right there as well too, Nathan. And like I said, the bloodline. I know they're their thing, but the reason why they're not breaking up because right now that's Vince's Roman is Vince's boy. This is Kate. This come. This is Kate face out Roman or Joe know is Vince's boy right now. But you can tell that. You, but folks are on it just because they they're because of their love for heels. But in my opinion, if I was a heel fan, I still. We feel like this is this is bo- It's getting repetitive and boring. Like only way to get them because you because you it's the same old scenario. Cheat to win, cheat to win. I know that's the hill thing, but it's like the, for for it to be o- a, the, a ongoing thing to keep going and going. It's ridiculous. Of course, you. That's, it's like, and I know there's time they click their work there. There uh there had some clean wins, but it's like they're. Dirty wins is overcrowding. They, they, they're, they're, uh, they, they are clean wins. It's not clean wins. And yes, I get it. That's the hill thing. But it's like it's getting, it's getting repet- too repetitive and too, cl- too stale as, at at the point to most fans. 
in, in my opinion. Let me see if I, what else I say. Yeah, but like I said, I feel like it's, the, it's, it's probably Azor fans or Frida fans put a cre or creators shooting their foot to make heal things more interesting or both or anything because they, what they need to do is is balance things out or anything. AEW someone is doing an okay job with that, but then again, you can't trust them because the you know, House Black is okay. You know, they heal well. In my opinion, I, should, I feel like they should be twinners too, but they've been healers lately. But I can't, but I can't speak on them either because they're they're kind of flawed with the alignment system as well too, especially with them building back on the double turn between Sami Zayn and uh and Darp and, and Sami Zayn and Scar Scorpio Sky. So that was dumb. But and like I said, state relation. I know alignment is, is needed needed for a storyline, but. It's too flawed. and need to do away with all together, or they do away all together. Or one one thing I mentioned is uh, do the expand, do is expand it to the nine lime thing. And what's the other thing I said on there? I said on my Twitter as well too. I said something on my Twitter about that too. too. Like somebody posted a unpopular, um, unpopular. Uh, hold on, if it's, it's there, hold on. If it, hopefully it's there. If not, I'm not going to get to it though. Yeah, or I just say, or force, or let fans enforce the alignment like they used to do in the answer. Yeah, because I said in the um the the roof aggressive versus attitude era video by a wrestling flashback that the crowd was the best because the crowd influenced the uh the alignment most majority of not all but majority of the alignment change like they because like I said their reason why. We had a double turn between Austin and Bret Hart. Did the reason why DX became faces and stayed faces and everything? Because like I say, they weren't really, really that much of a heel. Because they, most of the people they was feuding with were heels themselves. Was like the Hart Foundation and Nation Domination and everything. So they was low key twin in the beginning to be to beginning to, to, begin to be honest. As well as um vice versa. No, Kurt Angle being the print, the the Olympic hero and all that. Instead, instead of getting cheered, he got booed. So they made him a hill instead of a face. With like I said, his character would be a perfect face, but they made him a hill because um the fans wasn't feeling it at the time because you know they was feeling the edgy uh Austin three sixteen and everything, and then that's how they became faces. Like Austin, Rock, and later DX. But this this is why I will like that's why I kind of miss the add to style add to era style crowds now like. If, if 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 like I said, a lot of a lot of wrestlers who are heels right now would not be heels in, in anti era. Um, her business would not be heels in anti era. They'd be at least tweener of faces. Uh, House of Bex possibly maybe tweeners only. Um, Legato will be faces by 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 now. They very eventually they may be faces faces going to the storyline between Tony D being being their uh, his servant and all of that. But they will be faces. They would been been faces. Why even? Why are you enforcing it right now? It went and then it wouldn't take long for the Crees to be faces either. Like uh, who else? Um, the claim would have been faces like sooner, like would have been faces by now if, the, if this was the attitude era. Like a, a good a good list or anything. Hell, possibly they be on it. Well, let's say then again they're probably like they're like the second coming in W. I would say the. Uh, Bullet Club, but then again, they're like the second coming on WO, and they, they probably do wear either. Well, if, if the, the, all right, I will say this: Bullet Club was in um that's where they they probably have a split team as well too, like in WO with the uh, Wolfpack and all that, because you know it's getting too popular, and they wanted to keep the hill till he. Then they they did like two teams, which was pretty, which was like the good thing, and then like I said, the finger pop of do was downhill from there. And then the over adding groups to, for shock values, the piss fans off was like, okay, it's enough, enough, we get it. And then then kind of, and in a way, Bullet Club's getting in that route as well too. But um, other than that, this is all I gotta say about the situation with the Judgment Day situation and many others. So if you like my thoughts and reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.